हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एस टू एस क्लासेस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट सेल्स सो वॉट आर सेल्स टू डिफाइन इट वी बेसिकली कॉल इट एज द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सो एनी फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ ऑन दिस अर्थ we all are composed of cells so why we call it a as structural and functional unit so we call it as structural unit because each and every organism is made up of cells these cells they combine to form tissues then tissues combine to form organs organs combine to form organ systems and then the whole body is formed and talking about functional unit it is a functional unit because all basic activities happens at cellular level okay so every cell in complex organisms like human beings certain cells are specialized to do certain functions so all the activities that are going inside the humans they all are performed by cells therefore they are the structural and functional unit of life now moving ahead we will talk about the discovery of cells so basically in 1665 cells were discovered by robert hook now why the term cell cell basically means a room that's why robert hook pin or called the name cell now moving ahead there are certain theories so the basic cell theory we will talk about which says the first point is that all life form is made up of cells then second thing that we have is cells they origin or they originate from the pre existing cells so these are the basic points and uh, there are many more theories many more points we'll be covering all this in detail in the next lecture so moving ahead we'll talk about the organisms on the basis of cells okay there are unicellular organisms and there are multicellular organisms so unicellular organisms are those organisms which have which are composed of only one cell and multicellular organisms on the other hand they are those organisms which have more than one cells okay there can be millions of cells or a few cells but they have more than one cells now moving ahead robert brown discussed about or he discovered the nucleus inside the cell and on the basis of this nucleus organisms are divided into two prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms so talking about prokaryotic organisms prokaryotic organisms are those organisms which have a primitive nucleus so what happens is the nucleus that we have inside the cell it is known as the control center of the cell and this control center that is the nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane now in prokaryotic organisms what happens is this nuclear membrane is absent okay there is no well defined nucleus so the nuclear region is known as the nucleoid in prokaryotic organisms and talking about eukaryotic organisms they have a well defined nucleus so this is the basic difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms now in the next lecture we'll see in detail about the cell organelles thank you please like this video and subscribe to our channel